Good morning, church. Pastor Linda here from Bethel Thedford. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Friday, July the 24th, and it is 10.58 a.m. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need, and thank Him for what He has done, and then you'll experience God's peace that passes all understanding. And his peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. That's found in uh, Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. And it's something that we should live by every day. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being with us. And we thank you, Lord, that we can always count on you to have peace in our spirits. We can always count on you, Lord, to direct our paths. And we know, Lord, without a doubt that your love is greater than anything else that we can have here on earth. We ask, Lord, that you be with us throughout this day and be with our leaders and all of the advisors. Give us wisdom in everything that we do. Wisdom comes from you, Lord, and we ask that you give us each a little portion of that so that no matter what we do, we're doing, we're making wise decisions. And it's decisions that aren't going to impact negatively on anyone else. Help us to be kind and considerate of all people's things. We want to change a little bit more tomorrow because we open up a little bit more. And we need your direction, Lord, to help us get through this. We give you all praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Luke 10, 27 says that you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's something that uh, most of us, well, I say most of us, but I should refer to it as the older generation had learned uh, back in school. And... Um, they, they don't teach that anymore, unfortunately, and it's uh, something that should be taught because I think we probably have a lot less trouble. But that being said, it's uh, up to the parents to teach the children. It's not up to the schools. We expect the schools to follow through on the same teaching, but it's when it comes to trusting God, that starts at home. Weather network. Right now it's 21 degrees. Feels like 25 but um, it's only 21. The high today is going to be 25, and that's going to feel like 32 once the humidity comes in. And another uh, warm front is coming in, and it's going to uh, get very humid. Today it's um, going to be mainly sunny with a few cloudy periods in the afternoon. The low tonight's going to be 17, and it is supposed to be clear. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all that you do, and He'll show you which path to take. If you want to make sure you do things right, trust God. Follow His leading. I report for Sonia Lampton for today. Praise the Lord, we haven't got any new cases. The uh, confirmed cases remain at 292, the deaths remain at 25, and the recovered at 261, leaving six active cases. Now, Mayor Bill had, uh, had a report in, and this is part of it. It says, we have heard that many areas are seeing increasing COVID-19 positive cases in the 20 to 49 age group. The source of tr transmission can often be linked to parties and gatherings where people are socializing and are not taking appropriate precautionary measures. As our community advances into stage three, please remember that no one is immune to this virus. It's still present in our province and in our communities. Regardless of what stage we are in, we can go and do what activities we choose to engage in. We must remain vigilant in our physical distancing and hygiene practices. There's no mandatory mask requirement in Lambton Shores, but many of us 
I've chosen to add them to our daily wardrobe. This is a good choice. I recommend that you have a mask available if you find yourself in a position where physical distancing is not possible. We're midway through the busy summer season and our tourist areas have been unprecedented, have seen unprecedented numbers of visitors. Our numerous community beautifiers and staff are doing a fabulous job keeping the community clean and picking up rubbish after crowds leave. I certainly wish that it was not necessary to have to do this, but please know that your efforts do not go unnoticed. Thank you for pitching in and helping out. We really appreciate your contribution in keeping our community clean. With so much out of our control, we can control our own actions. Choose to be kind. Stay safe, healthy, and positive. Mayor Bell. And as I had said before, that if you saw the um, pictures on Facebook, after the weekend, you saw the kind of a mess that's being left on the beaches. So, let's be considerate, let's be kind, let's clean up. The Ontario Report. Confirmed cases, 30, 38,210. That's 103 more than yesterday. And we can be thankful for that as well because the numbers are going down again. The deaths remain the same as yesterday of 2,755. The confirmed cases, 33,963. There's quite a few more in the hospital now. There's 154. There's 35 in ICU and 21 on ventilators. The uh, active cases has gone down. It's at 1,492. The Canada report for today, there's 112,240 cases across Canada. And uh, that's 543 more than yesterday. The deaths are at 8,870, confirmed recovered 98,142. So the active cases are 5,228. Now, um, yesterday I started putting the U.S. counts in too, just as a point of information because they're our closest neighbors and we have the borders closed right now, and this may help understand why. The confirmed cases in the U.S. is 4,100,875. And the uh, difference between yesterday's count is 71,967. Deaths in the U.S. from COVID is 146,183. Confirmed recovered, 1,000,000. 942,637, leaving the active cases at 2,012,055. So when you're getting upset about the borders being closed, think about the counts. Our scripture today is Psalm 143, and this is uh, pertinent to all peoples, but especially those that find that they get down sometimes or have depression or just have difficulty moving on starting at verse one hear my prayer O lord listen to my plea answer me because you are faithful and righteous don't put your servant on trial for no one is innocent before you my enemy has chased me he has knocked me to the ground he forces me to live in darkness like those in the grave i am losing all hope i'm paralyzed with fear I remember the days of old. I ponder all of your great works and think about what you have done. I lift my hands to you in prayer. I thirst for you as parched land thirsts for rain, interlude or pause. Come quickly, Lord, and answer me, for my depression deepens. Don't turn away from me or I will die. Let me hear of your unfailing love each morning, for I am trusting you. Show me where to walk, for I give myself to you. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I run to you to hide me. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on firm footing. For the glory of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. Because of your faithfulness, bring me out of this distress. In your unfailing love, 
Silence all my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. 1 Timothy 2, 1 and 2 tells us to pray for all people. And it says, and this is the New Living Translation, I urge you first of all to pray for all people. Ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf, and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority, so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives, marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. For there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity. The man Christ Jesus, he gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the sacrifice that you made for your creation. We thank you, Lord, that you continue to wait on us because you could get fed up with uh, mankind and just say, that's it. But you made the promise years and years ago that you would not destroy the earth again, at least with a flood. And you gave us a rainbow as a sign of that promise of that covenant. We ask, Lord, that you help us to live as you would have us live. We ask, Lord, that you would help us to make the right decisions. And we thank you, Lord, for bringing us through this pandemic in such a way that we can look back and say, wow, we've really come a long way. And as we move into a new stage, we ask that you help us to put one foot in front of the other and follow the path that you've set out for us. Help us, Lord, to be good caretakers of this earth that you created for us. You created in a perfect fashion. Help us to redeem ourselves and restore it to its, uh, the beauty that you had it made for. When I say redeem ourselves, I don't mean to save ourselves. Salvation only comes through you. But I ask, Lord, that you use us. Use us to reach out to your people who are hurting. Use us to show that your love is beyond everything else. Help us to rely on you in all things. In Jesus' name, amen. Ephesians 4, verse 3 says, We're joined together with peace through the Spirit, so make every effort to continue together in this way. We know that we can always rely on God, and we can rely on His Word. And whenever we're in doubt, we can open up that Bible, and we can read the Word and get comfort from it. We can also be warned by it. We need to ask God to show us the Word that He wants to read. And you know, He will. Isaiah 41.10 says, Don't worry, because I'm with you. Don't be afraid, because I am your God. I will make you strong and will help you. I will support you with my right hand that saves you. Continue to hold each other up in prayer. Pray for our leaders and those who are giving the advice. This has not been an easy walk for anyone. It's the ones that we've put into power that are making the decisions for all people. And that takes a, its toll on all of the people as well, the ones in, uh, in control, the ones that have to make the decisions. And I'm sure they lose a lot of sleep over it because they know the decisions they make affects everybody. And there's so many places that haven't been able to open up yet, and some may never open up. And I pray that everything will be resolved so that people can go back to work and as you drive around and see the fields, the, uh, it's amazing how big the corn is getting. And the soybeans have started to sprout up too. So I pray for an abundant harvest for all of the farmers. And remember to give God praise in all things, whether it's good or bad. Thank God, because you don't know what the end result is going to be. He sees what it is, but we don't. So we thank him for each and every moment that we have. God bless each and every one of you, and may God be with you until we meet again.